You might have come across this long-standing issue with Mac OS where AirDrop would completely freeze. And your solution might have been to restart the computer every single time. But I'm here to tell you that you don't have to do that. Hey, welcome viewer. If you're new here, my name is Jer. I make videos on the technology in our lives and how we can use them to our advantage. Although Apple has not completely resolved this issue yet, there are some workarounds that I'm gonna go through that you can use so you don't have to restart your computer every single time. Here's the first method. You can force quit the finder in order to resolve this issue. If you try an airdrop and your system freezes, you can use the escape key to unfreeze it. This will give you control back of your machine. Then to rectify the issue, go to the Apple logo and select force quit. You can also access this keyboard shortcut by selecting option, command, and escape. All you have to do is kill the finder process and then go back to the file. You can now airdrop without any issues. Here's the second method. You can enable the airdrop feature within the finder window itself so that you can just drag and drop files. It'll show up in the left hand column once you enable this. This method will prevent the finder from freezing in the future so it's probably best to make this a habit moving forward. That way you don't have to continually use method one to fix your issue. First go to Finder, then Preferences. Click on the sidebar and ensure that AirDrop is enabled. Now you can see it in the Finder window in the left-hand column. All you have to do is just drag and drop your files and you're pretty much good to go. Now, although these two methods that I just talked about are not the ideal solutions to permanently resolve the problem, they will avoid any headaches in the future when you have to restart your machine. You don't have to do that anymore. Now, do you have any methods that you currently use to resolve this issue temporarily or even permanently? I don't know if there is a permanent solution. Apple just refuses to believe that this is an actual thing. Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you because our community is all about sharing and helping each other out. If you're also about that, hit that subscribe button as well as a thumbs up. That just lets me know that you like these videos and I should be making more of them in the future. Like always, I'm Jared the Tech Venger. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget when it comes to tech, the Tech Vengers are there. We got your back. Thank you.